Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how to run multiple projects inside the Visual Studio 2022. I'll be guiding you through the steps to set up and run multiple projects simultaneously. This is especially useful when working on solutions that involve multiple components, such as web application with a backend API. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So first, let's open a Visual Studio 2022. If you don't have it installed yet, you can download it from the official Microsoft website. But if you do, let's go ahead and open a project. So as you can see, I've opened a Visual Studio 2022. So if we go ahead and create a new project, so first of all, we're going to select a uh, a console app so obviously you can configure your project details and whatnot yeah and we click on the next and you can select um, what .NET framework that you want to work with then we click on the create so as you can see here now we've actually got um a very uh, uh, a C sharp or .NET console app created for us. So once your solution or your project is created, obviously it comes with the solution. We can add more. We can add more projects to it. So to do that, let's click on. Let's right click on the on the solution, not the project, but the solution. Right click on the solution. So this is what we get. So here. You come to the add and then new project so basically you can also add an existing project okay so we, we click on the new project so the new project dialog will be open for us again so uh, let's add a blazer web app So it might take a while before the project creates yeah so as you can see here now we've actually got a blazer web app so now we've got two projects yeah so let's go ahead and add some more projects to it then so it's new project and asp.net web app let's add this as well So right now we've got three projects here. So let's go ahead and add one last project. So let's add a class library to it. So we just type in class. So let's add a C sharp class library. So this so that makes it about four four projects that we've got. Let's go ahead and create this one. So as you can see here now, we've got four projects inside our solution. So there are some certain instances that you would want to run multiple projects simultaneously. Yeah. So this is how we can do that. Yeah. So we write first of all, if we if we come here on the debug side, yeah. So as you can see, we've got the console app here. Yeah? As the startup item so if we click here so as you can see I will be able to add a will be able to run the web application and then the blazer app here yeah. but obviously for now it's only running one at a time but to to be able to run it multiple we click on the solution I mean right click on the solution so here we look for Configure startup projects. So as you can see here now, so we've got a current selection and we've got single start project. So the single start project is what I just showed you. So it means we can only run a, a simple, I mean a single project, but to, to be able to run a multiple one. So as you can see down here, we've got 
multiple startup projects yeah. so we click on this bit here so here this is the actions that we can take yeah so we can okay let's select the first one so here we can start the, the blazer app project so as you can see here we can start with our debugging or we can just start debugging yeah and we're going to add, add the console app as well start and we're going to add the, the web app as well so as you can see here now we'll be able to run uh, three projects that has an output so we select we select on the class library and we move it down yeah so basically uh, it runs from top to bottom so there are certain there are some instances that you want to run certain projects first before the, uh, some other projects yeah so you can do that by actually moving them around so basically if we want to run the the console app first yeah we move it up so as you can see yeah, we've got the console app here that that will run first before the blazer app and then the web application okay so once you're done with this bit here you can go ahead and apply so the applied will actually save the changes and we can click on okay so if we come back here so right now as you can see we've got multiple startup projects yeah instead of just a single project startup yeah so if we go down here so right now we've got the three projects that we that can start I mean with a multiple start project so right now we can select on we can select f5 or we can just click on this start button here so let's click here as well so here obviously we can choose to run it and um, run it on a Google Chrome Internet Explorer Microsoft Edge which I'm going to make and then And then um, select the web browser, or you can use the the, uh, the Visual Studio internal browser to do that as well. Okay, so as you can see here now, now we've got um configure the start project. So instead of right clicking the solution right now, since we've set this part here, we can just click here and go straight to that. Yeah. So let's click on this. So once let's run it and see what actually comes out. So let's click here so now we we supposed to get both uh, the console app the blazer app and the web app to run simultaneously okay so let's wait while the whole thing builds so I'm just gonna pause the video so as you can see here now we've got the uh, the console app running first yeah so so as you can see the hello world is displayed so right now the, the console app is um, is running so here we get we we get in uh some trust issues with the asp.net core ssl certificators or whatnot so let's click on yes i mean just for this video so so trust the eyes and whatnot yeah let's Go ahead and click yes. So as we can see here now, we get we get in the, the web app running, we've got the console app running and the blazer app will be next as well. Okay. So as you can see here now, we've also got the web web app running. Yeah. We can also have a look at the blazer but that's not really important but what really matters is is what what i've shown you here so that's it here yeah? and now you've successfully learned how to run multiple projects in visual studio so this feature is incredible it's incredibly useful for developing and testing solutions with multiple components so if you have any questions or need further assistance feel free to leave a comment below thanks for watching and hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.